Oh. 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 My bad. Uh, shoot. Frick. What's on your hand, buddy? Oh, Germex. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing down there? I had Germex on my hand. Start stuff lacking on stream, buddy. Wow. Is this stream going to make it this time? This stream should make it this time. Are we actually going to get to the wrestling portion yes, of the show? Yes, we're going to get to the wrestling portion of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the PN King Podcast, the September 28th edition. The post-Clash of Champions reaction, the post-Week 3 edition. We just got a Week 3, didn't we? Any, any week yeah. Four? Okay. Week three. Post week three edition. Currently, the Chiefs are leading the Ravens at this time. Yeah. Are they? Six to three. So. Six to three. It's not that crazy. You know what's going on in Raw? No. Me neither, and I don't care. Okay. What do I mean? We never know what's going on in that show. That's true. The man. So let me. See. What does it taste like? The like we, like we gum. gum. Uh, today's <laughs> episode of the Pink King Pro. Progress. <laughs> the PN King Podcast is brought to you in part by Icebreakers Ice Cubes Black Cherry Edition. Available all places where gum is sold. Okay. All places where gum is sold. Son. <laughs> that was your fault. Son. It hit you your shook, hand. You At shook it like a Nelson Aguilar. Take it. Did, did, did two come out? Yeah. Oh, you son of a bitch. Well, usually, I mean, I usually eat like five. <laughs> Just throwing back like skills. Fuck it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got some stuff to talk about. That is pretty good. Um, again, we do apologize for last week's stream. It sucked. Yeah, and it was it was really good. Y'all never know. I have. I'm still mad about that rant. <laughs> I prepared that rant for a good week, and no one. It was amazing, and no one's ever gonna hear it. Well, I guess this time it's gonna be my turn to rant. You've gotten two turns because I got no soul. We'll be all right. Yeah, we'll get to all that. When we get to, we'll, we'll go, get to wrestling later. In the yeah, show. yeah, yeah. Let me not get upset. Now. We got first a great all, show yeah. last night. Well, we'll get Champions that. was a great show, but we're first going to do it? our. What'd you call it? Clash of Champions. You I'm said sorry. not a champion. I'm right? Sorry. I mean, it's, it's not the my same fault. Thing, it's, yeah, I was going to say it's like it's not my fault. It's pretty much the same thing. But we're first going to go over the week three. Can you look at them for me? Yeah. The week three games. First of all, you know what? I might as well get it out of the way. Grant, yeah, get out of the way before your phone goes dead. Let's go. The Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> like, <laughs> godly. Oh, my God. If NFL Yo. was to ever have a job or team, it, it's, it's the Atlanta Falcons. Two weeks in a row. I'm still in your, I'm still in your problem with time. Give me a sec. Two weeks in a row. 98% chance winning percentage going into the fourth quarter. Two weeks in a row. 98% chance. Like, how the freak do y'all continuously, consistently, that's the only thing consistent about y'all, is that y'all can get big leads and lose the niggas. They benched Trubisky for Nick Foles. He came in there, shot y'all niggas in the face. I don't understand. I just don't understand. Honestly, by the looks of this, it just seems like the Falcons will never ever be good again. As soon as y'all open y'all stadium back up to fans, ain't nobody gonna show up. <laughs> ain't nobody gonna show up because they ain't just they just don't want to see this mess. Yeah. Nobody. I've never win. seen a team that hates leads more than the Atlanta Falcons. I don't understand. Y'all. Like they, I mean, I, they're doing the respectful thing and putting everybody over, and I get that. Like I appreciate that. But the Bears, though, you the got, Bears suck. You have to put over the Bears, though. The Bears I get suck. You, I get you gotta take an L to Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. I get that Super Bowl you gotta put you gotta put over the top guy. And I get you gotta put over America's team the Cowboys. I don't get that, but I mean fine. They're America's team. The NFL wants to push them a little bit. But the Bears? Why are we pushing the Bears? The Bears suck. Yeah, they're three and but they suck. They're garbage. He's a bone. They're a bona fide scrubs. They can't play. No disrespect. I'm just saying. They ain't even got a Quotes good starting quarterback, been. and yet they three and zero because of y'all. The Bears are three and zero, man. Anyway, the Falcons lost. If y'all didn't know already, after being up twenty six to ten, let them come back and win. So, whatever about that. Freaking dumb. Y'all suck. Falcons suck. Julio needs to leave. Julio, just get out of town. Like, I know you loyal and junk, but you ain't got to be that loyal. <laughs> like, come on, bro. You done? 
the pretty much just promo. All right, okay, all right, on to our week three reactions. The Colts bounce back in a big way against the trash bag Jets. Um, good for y'all. I got way too much gum in my mouth. Hold on. I had like six pieces in there and could not talk. Yeah, that probably not the best for this. <laughs> yeah, not the best idea. Okay, so the Jets got a 36-7 beatdown on live television. You'll love to see it. Tennessee um, Titans also beat the Minnesota Vikings. Barely. Barely. Yeah, I don't, what is going on with the Minnesota Vikings? I don't know. Like, this whole season so far, it, it looks like they're on some WWE shit with, with 50-50 booking. Because some teams get wins when you don't expect them to. We came back, at, by the way. We were down two points. Yeah. At, like, we, like, look, we took an L to Jacksonville. Y'all beat Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. Okay? We throttled Minnesota. Y'all barely survived Minnesota. Well, honestly, our defense has Our defense has kind of struggled. So. Yeah, but it's, I'm not talking just us, too. Like, teams across the board, we don't know what it's like. They're trying to get, it's like they're trying to get them even amount of wins and losses. We don't know what to do. Well, except the Seahawks. They, they, they look like they well, Seahawks play. is the top. Seahawks is Roman Reigns. Seahawks is the top guy. They're Seahawks and Jeez. Patrick Mahomes and the Ravens. Those are your three top guys. Everybody else is 50 50. I mean, we ain't 50 50. We three and oh. Yeah, but barely, though. So? They're barely. wins. They're wins. Did I y'all it. lose to the. Didn't y'all lose? We did lose to the Jags, but I mean, again, y'all. Never mind. The Steelers are also three and oh. Are they? Yes. Oh. All right, go through the games. All right. Start we, from the top. Well, we got the Colts and the Jets. They won. Uh, Falcons and the Bears. You want to go, talk about that again? No? Okay. Stupid. Rams and the Bills. Oh, Yo. who got screwed in this one, buddy? Yo, they almost pulled a 28-3. It was literally 28-3. Did the Rams get screwed in this call, buddy? I think they did. I saw, I saw it on the red zone. I think they got screwed. I didn't see it. What you, was it? It was a it was a pass interference call. I didn't see it. You didn't see it. No. Uh, it was it was kind of touch and go. Uh, I have to I'd have to go see it. Yep. The Browns it. beat the Washington club. <laughs> um, the Washington Football Club. Are the Browns back or is no. this shit no? Okay. It's the Was- come on, it's the Washington. Ri- I mean, it's the Washington something others. I don't know. Something other. <laughs> Tennessee and the Vikings. You want to go in on this? We won. Derek Barely. Can- <laughs> Barely. I ain't gonna lie, Justin Jefferson freaking destroyed us. He destroyed us. Mm-hmm. When when he started when he started dancing to the end zone, I started getting pissed. I was mm-hmm. like, I was like, frick, we might lose. Because we went down two scores at that point. And then all of a sudden we turned up the chicken. You did. We turned it up. And went down the field, got one touchdown, shut him out, came back down the field. No touchdown. Derrick Henry doing his nigga thing. Now, we need to get our defense fixed. Yeah. All right, Mike Vrabel ain't the move for defensive coordinator. Oh. Yeah, he, he also is technically our defensive coordinator. He ain't the move. We mm. sucking right now. No? We sucking. The Colts defense. defense has gotten lit in the last couple weeks. I don't know if Sam Darnold is just trash like Kirk Cousins was. I mean, my man threw two pick sixes, at least. I know that. The, well, the Jets suck. So, I mean, Jets I, can't, I can't give you. You got to you gotta go beat the Jaguars. <laughs> You gotta go beat the Jaguars before I can but say that. Then again, the Jaguars are a lot better than anybody gave them credit for. Yet they just lost to the Dolphins, thirty-one. Uh, that's what I'm saying. This whole 50-50 book and shit. We don't know who's good and who's bad. It's like we don't have any idea who's legit trash and who's just figuring things out. We don't know. Yeah. I don't know how you. I, I don't. I don't know. But the bottom line is Tennessee's three and zero. It doesn't matter how you get it. If you get it, who y'all got next week? Unfortunately, we got the Steelers. Oh. They're also 3-0. Well, 3-1 ain't nothing to sneeze at, but Just shut up. <laughs> we can win. I don't care. We can win. Patriots and the Raiders in a competitive game. The Patriots did pull it out over the Oakland Raiders. Are the Oakland Raiders back? No. Still no? No. Even after beating Drubio and the... They also just... The Drew, Drew and them just lost again, so, I mean... Yeah, but, I mean... Oh, I think this Raiders team might blow up in the last part of the season. Second half. Mm, we'll see. We'll find out. Y'all got to beat. First of all, beat the Chiefs. Y'all got to play them twice. Beat them once. Then I'll say it. 
Then I'll start to believe. I'll put it like that. Battle of the injuries, the 49ers and the Giants. 49ers, even with, even with more injured players, won. I'm not going to lie. I was a little surprised. Yeah? I did not exp- I mean, the Gi- it's got to be the Giants are just that bad. There's no way they could have just <laughs> throttled them like that do, do we even with even, all the injuries they had. Do we even have to talk about the Cincinnati Bengals and the Philadelphia Eagles? Do we have to talk about that? Yes, we do. Why? why? We can't just skip it? Because Joe looked good. <laughs> what else like, looked good, buddy? But there's a tie. <laughs> the funny part is... EDP445 cleaned up his entire house of all his Philadelphia Eagles merch. <laughs> he threw that it dude, all away. That dude is just too flip-floppy. <laughs> he is funny, bro. He... he <laughs> He He's took down so his Super Bowl poster. He said, fuck that team as well. Like, bro. The Bengals and Eagles always tie. They couldn't figure out who they wanted to be more trash. They be, they always tie. Like, this has happened before. The Bengals and Eagles have tied before. The Bengals and Eagles. I said the Bengals and Eagles. The Bengals and Eagles. That's a band. <laughs> the Bengals and Eagles. Anyway. Anyway, next game. Next game. The Steelers and the Texans. Good job, Steelers. You're Texans are ass. Well, uh, somebody made a good point. They played literally the three best teams in the league in the first three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to see three, but one of the three. Yep. Panthers and the Chargers. Not a bad game. Panthers got the win. I did not expect that. Why? I had LA in this game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I did have LA in this game. I don't remember who I had. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. We really gotta start writing down who we pick. <laughs> I mean, well, for the for most of these I know, but for that one I just didn't remember. Bucks and Broncos. Good for the Bucks. They they won. They Good for the, they beat the trash Broncos. Good for old Tom. Lions and Cardinals. How the uh, frick how the frick the Cardinals beat the 49ers in week one? That was before they was injured. I don't remember who they played in week two, but they won. I remember NFL Red Zone saying that Arizona Cardinals were must-see TV, and then they just lost to Detroit. Trash bag niggas. You hate to see The it. Seahawks and the Cowboys. That was a good game. That was a good game. DK almost clucked them over, but it's cool. <laughs> Are the Cowboys... Do the Cowboys have something this season? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Nobody in the NFC East has anything. Cowboys suck. Eagles suck. Do the Cowboys right. suck, though? Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> Nigga. Who, who, please, explain to me why you think the Cowboys are good. I'm just saying, look, they came with him once. I'm not, look, they're obviously one and three. I'm two. just, they're, they're, uh, yeah, one and two. Look, I'm just saying, they held in there with one of the best teams in the league with, in Seattle. And they, um, I feel like they got screwed out of a win against L.A. Now, granted, they only barely beat the Falcons, but. The Falcons sucked. Think this whole 50 it 50 booking, we can't hide cool with them. You should have been able to beat them. Who? It doesn't matter. If you're not that good, you're not that you're not that good because you weren't able to win. Okay, the New England Patriots came within like a yard of beating Seattle. The Patriots are two and one though. And the Dallas is one and two. But Dallas sucks. <laughs> because they can't get the wins. The the Rams aren't as much aren't so, that much better than so they were because last the year. New England Patriots have one more win than the Dallas Cowboys. They also oh, have the better, Dolphins. They also have a better defense than the Dallas Cowboys. Explain a better quarterback than the Dallas Cowboys. Oh well, duh. Wait. Who, yeah. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Has right. Dak won MVP? Has Dak been to a Super Bowl? Um, all right, I'm just giving you a joke. Sure. But you seriously can't tell me that the. Dallas full on sucks. They suck almost every year. They've lost two close games and two of the. I, I feel like the LA, LA Rams they, are back. They should have been. Didn't the Rams just lose? They got Aaron Donald, man. So what? So what? Aaron Donald ain't gonna make a team. Bro, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to get you to explain to me how they suck when they've come within one. You know damn well they got screwed over against LA. They couldn't. They they, they now, had look, many more chances other than that one play to win that game. But they got screwed over. Though. So it was a close game. Okay, but it could have been a close win instead of a close loss. They got screwed out of the win. It doesn't matter. They could have. There were so many more opportunities to score before that. 
Uh, where's my bottle? Hold on. Oh, I ain't got a bottle. Yeah. You, you are acting like a black woman. Just, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, nah, 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 oh, my nah, God. Nah, but I'm right. No, you're not. Yes, I am. They had a lot of other chances to score and so, make plays that could have got them to win long okay, before so that Okay, so New England sucks. Cam Newton and New England sucks is what you're telling me. What? They came within one score of beating So just cuz just cuz they also lost close to Seattle there put they they you have to put Dallas in the same boat. But Dallas has lost one extra game. Did did they did they or did they not? I'm just saying in my opinion they got screwed out of that first game. They should have started Atlanta, off the season. If they should have started off 2 and 0. If Atlanta wasn't Atlanta. I still would have said Dallas sucks. Even if Atlanta wasn't just, Atlanta. I'm just trying to get you to realize you're biased against Dallas. I'm biased against everyone. <laughs> Except oh, Tennessee. Oh, okay. Uh, it's it's arguing with an eight-year-old. Okay. Dallas sucks. Then we got the Packers Dallas. and the Saints. Yo, the Saints is the Saints ain't doing it right now. Yeah. Drew, Drew, Drew be a worry about going to uh to go to Drew ain't got no Drew ain't got no arm strength no more, bro. Drew is trying to go to NBC and get this commentator money. Drew ain't got no arm no more, bro. He trying to go get this commentator money. I don't come here as a beast, though. Mm-hmm. That play, that was that was awesome. That's right. pretty much it. We got the Bears this Sunday. We got the 3-0 and Bears this Sunday. A rematch of the 2006 Super Bowl. Yup. I'm not going to lie. Are we, wait, we're doing predictions now? I was just looking to see who I got. Oh. Yeah, we got enough predictions coming Friday. That's going to be. <laughs> oh. Should we? Should oh. Actually, what? Is the draft this Friday? Like the WWE draft? It's night one. I don't know. Do we got to do draft predictions too? <laughs> no, no, I don't want to do that. Cause I, that? That's, that's kind of that's kind of that's a lot more vague than this kind of stuff. That's a lot more vague than what we're doing. Oh my god. Okay. Actually, but now that I'm thinking about it, should we just do our predictions now, so we can just worry about takeover predictions on Friday? Or do you... we'll forget our predictions by Friday. You're right. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll, we'll, do, we'll do it on Friday. Yeah. I'm just looking at all the matchups for week four. Uh, when's the Thursday night game? Oh, dear God. Why is the Thursday night game always trash? Like, why do they purposely make it night, trash? Thursday night games aren't, aren't the biggest games. It's usually Sunday and Monday. Those are the, those are the ones where you want but to think, watch. But think, if it's a special Thursday night game, like... Thursday night game... You know Thursday night games are the newest ones. They've been doing Monday and Sunday since, like, back in the 70s. I'm just saying, if I was the NFL, I'd want to put... A high matchup game on Thursday night. Yeah, you know, there's a reason that people don't like. That's the reason that football players don't like Thursday night games. Because for one thing, there's two. It shortens their week, so it's tougher to recuperate and stuff. And Thursday night games are generally, you know, just usually lamer teams. They you know put the Titans and Jaguars in 2014 on Thursday. So night. I'm saying you ain't gotta put these trash bag teams on Thursday night. Yeah, but nobody wants. Nobody really watches. I mean, they would watch if they weren't trash bag teams. But nobody really cares. The NFL makes billions of dollars each year anyway. If so what's the, the point? Chiefs and the Green Bay Packers were on Thursday night, you wouldn't watch. Them? I wouldn't. I mean, I would, but exactly. Uh, no, 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 no. you, just you can't record. put you can't put that on you can't put that on the game. That's just how the schedule worked out. Oh, dear Lord. Chiefs are up 13-3, by the way. I mean, you can't put the, you can't put that on the schedule. I mean, not every game is trash. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they were expecting the Jets and Broncos to be better than they were. Yeah. How about the uh, anyway? How about the Miami Heat and LA Lakers? Both go, uh, n- n- nothing. You ain't got no insight on these upcoming NBA finals. From the NBA bubble, the live NBA fi- on ABC. The NBA finals are going to be a thing. ABC. That's the channel it's on. It's not on TNT. No. Why would it not be? The on NBA t- finals are always on ABC. I could have sworn they've done it on TNT before. The well, Western finals. They are must on have t- used. To, they must have used to do it on TNT. That's they never did the finals on TNT. They did the finals on NBC years ago. They've done them on TNT before. No, they have not. Yes, They've done they the have. Western Conference Finals on TNT. They've done it before on TNT, I swear to God. No, who? Who was it? The Lakers and Celtics. <laughs> no, that was on ABC. <laughs> We're really arguing channels right now. You're the one who did it. You said... I'm going to win this right now. 
I'm winning this right now. It's probably on ABC. Shut up! Damn it. Have the NBA Finals ever been on TNT? Oh, wow. Hold on. That didn't... No, that didn't help. Broadcast on ABC like they do every year. You don't know that. <laughs> Just go to the this fucking show. <laughs> oh, God, it's your freaking fault. Just pit. Just go. Take us into wrestling. Take us into wrestling. Take us into wrestling. I wrestling. Minute. You have to look up the matches though. I anyway. know the matches. I actually watched the show. When it happened? Because you have nothing else better to do with your life. Damn. I hate to see it. That's well, why I'm better looking at you. At least I don't attract crazy niggas. You could have said bitches. You didn't have to say that. That sounded kind of false. <laughs> crazy females. Is that better? That's why, that's why me and Kristen talk there. Oh! <laughs> but you don't. Daddy! Promo dub. Okay. Um. That's not a promo dub. Yeah, it is. You know it is. WWE Clash of Champions 2020. What was our first match? Um, what was the fir what's the first thing it says? Just go off of that. SmackDown tagging. I didn't see this match. Was Shinsuke it? and Sar. Oh, I didn't see that. Either. Shinsuke and Sarzo versus oh, yeah, that was the Lucha kickoff, That was the kickoff show. Yeah. Did Lucha turn heel? I don't even know. Read it. Uh, <laughs> Read it and see. We didn't. I don't know. Um. Yeah. No heel turn. I'm seeing and Nakamura and Cesaro won. Okay. Okay. Now we, to the real stuff. Uh, we kicked off the show with an instant classic. An instant the, classic ladder match. The triple threat between Samuel S. Zayn, mm -hmm. Jeffrey Hardesian. And Austin Jeremiah Styles. Austin Jeremiah. I don't know. If, I don't remember his real name. Alan Jones. <laughs> Dang, that's so basic. <laughs> Austin that's such a Jeremiah. Basic, that's such a basic country white man name. Alfonso Jeremiah. Okay. What Jeremiah? <laughs> anyway, the match was absolutely fantastic. Alfonso Jebediah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Ella wishes Jamal. This was one of the best ladder matches I've ever seen. It was how long did this match go? About thirty minutes. It went. It went thirty minutes. Wow. It did go thirty minutes. That was a long match. Twenty-five minutes of this match was insanely good, and the last five minutes I was just laughing <laughs> uncontrollably hard. Like this dude, Sami Zayn. Yeah. If he didn't look like a homeless dude, I'd use natural. <laughs> I I would be in love with this man. <laughs> He handcuffed Hardy's ear to a ladder. He put the handcuffs through Hardy's ear hole and handcuffed. Like we'll get to the, like the match in the middle. Let's just get to the finish right now. Yeah. Bro, he handcuffed my man's ear to a ladder, <sighs> and then brings another. First of all, I will say this though: if he had handcuffs in his pocket the entire time, he didn't. Huh? He didn't. He had them in his jacket the entire time. But he, but he obviously didn't wear his jacket while he was wrestling. Mark. Colton. Mark. Colton. If he had him in his jacket the entire time, why would he not go for the handcuffs at the first opportunity? Maybe he felt he could win without him. But he's a heel, though. Oh, my goodness. So you want to just waste... 25 minutes of a 30 of a great 30 minute match. Is that what you're saying? I'm just saying. No, no, no. You basically I just. Didn't no, say no, I, no, no, I didn't say no, I have a problem. No. With it. <laughs> no. I'm just I'm saying. I'm not going this time. I'm not going this time. So you're ba you basically are saying you want him to waste 25 of 30 of the best minutes of a wrestling match that we have seen in a good minute. <laughs> Cause he want, cause he has handcuffs. Why? Oh my god, I'm getting tired. Um, I am not saying. All right, you're right. All right, <laughs> dude, I'm just, dude, 
<laughs> Don't you have a long day that catches up to you? It's catching we, up to me right now. Yeah, we're both we're both feeling kind of droopy right now. I, you're right. All right, cool. Anyway, um, great stuff from all three guys. Um, <laughs> look, Sammy Zayn <laughs> handcuffing himself to AJ, and then unclipping himself. Hardy trying to get in the ring while holding his ladder. <laughs> That was I was like, if what Jeff is? climbs a ladder while holding the ladder and somehow wins this match. <laughs> and then handcuff Styles to the ladder. It was great. The only thing about that, though, is handcuff Styles could have just jumped off the ladder and pulled it over. But it's fine. He could have. But Yeah. I thought about that as he did. I was like, he could just jump off the ladder and pull it over. AJ was tired. He was ready to be done. <laughs> like, oh, man, I fuck it. Just take I mean, they're all in their 40s. Yeah. No, they're not. Sammy's not, I think. He looks like he's 75. <laughs> he may as well be. Yeah, he needs to cut his hair. Like, Sammy, if you see this video, which you probably won't, but if you if you just per happen, perchance, start scrolling YouTube and see a random video about Sammy Zayn with a black dude and a white dude in a car, give uh, it a peep, give it a peep, and when you see us say this, cut your freaking hair. It doesn't look good, my guy. Sammy, listen, man. I've watched you since you were in Ring of Honor. When you were El Generico. I followed you your whole career. I love you, buddy. But damn it, you look like some shit I wiped off my ass. Okay? I I, I literally wiped off some shit out of my ass this morning. <laughs> Looked at it and said, oh my God, is that Sammy Zayn? No, it's not. It's it's part of a turd. <laughs> I, I, I no disrespect, man. I love. <laughs> no, listen. I love. I love you, buddy. You're a hell of a worker in the ring. Okay. I do need you to get some more gear, though. Like, bro. Get like, bro. He wears turd color gear, man. Is that his gimmick to look like a piece of poop? <laughs> Is that his gimmick? I don't know. He wears shit colored pants, a shit colored jacket, shit colored hat. His beard is all over the place. Bro, oh my god. He, he's the shit. <laughs> he's the shit. Hey, that's a gimmick thing. The shit, Sami Zayn. People say that all the time. If he was on AEW, he could say that. He could actually use that gimmick. I'm the shit, Sami Zayn. Probably. Yeah. Anyway. um. But yeah. But yeah. How'd you feel about that bump that Hardy took over the, over the rope with the ladder when he was climbing over the top of it while Sammy was lifting it up? Uh, I, I think the announcer tried to hype it up as more brutal than it actually was. I know. That was, that, I was like, bro, what are, you, what are you doing? Like the most hellacious fall you'll ever see. No, I've seen a lot worse. It's like, nigga, he didn't even... Nigga, he took, he took a worse one when he landed on nigga. Like, I've seen Hardy... He, he took an earlier fall. He took a worse fall earlier in that same match. Like... You didn't have to go back to his entire career. Like, Hardy's mm -hmm. done. Now, when he jumped into the ladder, when it was upside down, and got oh. sent, that was clean. Yeah. That looked like, ooh, ow. If, you, if, you're not, if you're not wearing clothes and any of that pinches you, that's going to hurt. Thanks for that insight, Mark. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Like you to the highest degree. Oh, I, it, it annoys me how PG you are. Okay. Um. Well, you can get over it. How about that? Next match. Get over it. Next match. Yeah, go to the next match. Why are you, ma are you mad? You mad at me? Yes. You want to cuss? No. Ah. Uh, okay. I'm never mad enough to cuss. Trust me, it takes a lot more than this to get me mad enough to cuss. Tennessee sucks. <laughs> that just makes me laugh. Because <laughs> you know it's true. No. Oh, we, oh, we've already left sports. Damn it. What, we no, we can just say it real quick. Y'all got lucky, bro. The Vols got lucky against South Oh, you're talking about the Vols. Y'all got times. lucky, bro. Where's when? Anyway. Um, what, what else can I say? What do you else want me to say? I'm just saying. If we, we, what? What? If we, what? 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 Uh, uh, what? Go ahead. Go ahead. There's nothing else I can say. Because we won the game. All right? They clucked up. You could just say that they were unlucky. How about that? They got unlucky. But, I mean, I like giving you shit, so... I mean. Well... All right. Then so, there you go. Oscar versus Elena Vega. Um, How'd you feel about that? <sighs> because I... Go loved ahead. every second of it. No, I'm just kidding. No. I'm about to ask why. <laughs> 
you kidding me? I, first of all, I already don't like Zelina Vega. She, Zelina came, Vega, out, she came out looking like Nikki Bella. Yeah. I could have sworn that that was a smaller, skinnier Nikki Bella coming to the ring. I'm based a, on their based on her gear. I'm offended Zelina Vega got this much offense against Asuka. So am I, honestly. I am. Because I was like, she doesn't even look like she should be wrestling. NXT Asuka would have killed this woman. <laughs> True. True. In, uh, bro, she, bro. NXT, uh, NXT Asuka. NXT Asuka would have put her through the freaking floorboard. I'm real talk. When Asuka was in NXT, I wanted to see her in the match with AJ Styles. Like, it, it went that deep. It went that deep. I want to see her and AJ Styles. <laughs> that would have been amazing. The Oscar we got now. I told you, bro. No. I, I've she never, got main roster. She got main roster. I've never. Yes, yeah, she's been like a three-time champ. Yeah. But she got main roster. She is a three-time champ. And, but, uh, I mean, just. I told you, I've never been able to get behind it. What? Uh, well, maybe the most mad was Oscar shake trying to shake her hand after the match. That's not something Oscar does. No. Well, this is face Oscar. This ain't heel Oscar. But Oscar was Oscar. No, when Oscar was in NXT as a face, she still wasn't shaking her hand. Even when she was undefeated. Straight cap. Even when she was undefeated. I didn't drop a cap. I dropped a bottle. But the bottle and the cap. On it, revenue engine. Even. When she was a face, if someone was to go shake her hand, she would just hold that title up and laugh and walk away. She like she respects him. She ain't shaking nobody's hand. All right, I don't care. Oh, of course. I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't. It's in the past now, so <sighs> what we got is what we got. And if we ain't, if you don't like it, then I guess watch AEW. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Bobby Lashley versus Apollo Crews. How do you feel about that? Because I heard some people didn't like it. Uh, no, sold it and saw the end. I saw Bobby Lashley put this boy in a, in a full Nelson. And, or a full Lashley. And it was a decent match. Was it? It was pretty good. Um, I wish that they would get pushed harder. Real quick, this hurt, this Retribution really, really don't be working pay-per-views. Retribution really don't work pay-per-views. Like... Well, especially and now that they're on the Raw, they could... This storyline would make a lot more sense. Oh. This storyline would make a lot more sense if they would just say they got a problem with the Raw instead of WWE. Because they don't feel like attacking SmackDown anymore. And they don't feel like working pay-per-views. They're either all in the same place. They don't feel like working pay-per-views. They just have a problem with the Raw. It's just Raw. And they, and, but I mean, hey, they got contracts. They can show up whenever they want now. I mean, they ain't got security. We don't know why they got contracts, but I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know where this is gonna go. I don't either. I don't think part, that, And the worst part about it is, I'm pretty sure it's only gonna go downhill from here. Oh, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. It might only go downhill, and I was pretty excited. I was pretty excited for this. I fully expected retribution after what we got Monday to attack Drew and help Randy win. I fully expect Retribution to hit the ring or be in the ambulance when they open the doors. Attack Drew, throw him in the back, drive the ambulance out to like the middle of the parking lot, and like, I don't know, drive a semi into it. Like, we, 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 we'll get more into that when we get to. We'll get that. We'll get to there, but I don't. Know. Yeah, that wasn't another missed opportunity to make Retribution somewhat cool. Um, the Raw Tag Team Championship match. Now, <laughs> we're not going to talk about the match at all. Because really, all the focus is on the ending. And how weird it looked. Is Garza hurt? I heard he is. He's actually hurt. But apparently it's not as bad as they thought. So is the ref in trouble for... No. They said instead of it being a knee injury, they think it was a hip injury. So he's on the He needs hip replacement. I don't know. I don't know. But ref threw up the X. Didn't tell any of the other wrestlers that Garza was actually hurt. So they were still performing like it was a normal match. What's his name? Uh, Angelo Dawkins. Spine Busters. Um, Andrade. 
Looks like he's going for the pin. Ref counts to three, and it was fairly easy to see that Andrade kicked out. This stream has been full, so... Lifeless? Yes. Yes, I know. <laughs> there is a lack of energy in this. <laughs> we, like, we're sorry. This entire day has just been straight dreadfulness. It's been a long day for your boy. It's been, it's a, been long a long day for him. It's been a long day. We're ready to go day. home. Like, all right. I'll... But we want to do this for you guys. Yeah. The, the three fans we have. We're, I think we're up to seven. I think we're up to seven. I'm sorry. The, the, seven, seven, the, seven, fe- the seven fans who genuinely watch us. And want to keep seeing us. Why? I don't know, but they appreciate you, bro. We appreciate you. We really do. With with all of our hearts. Yeah. No pause. Kind of pause. <laughs> all right. Bailey and Oscar. What? Yeah. What? 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 Are we about to say the same thing? What were you about to say? Why was this a thing? Because something happened with Nikki Cross. That. What happened with Nick? Does she have Corona? What happened with Nikki? Well, I don't know. But, uh,. What happened? The Nia and Shayna thing was that they had Corona. Well, they didn't. Uh, they don't have it. <laughs> I forgot they that didn't. match was on the card. I forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot that match. What didn't happen? <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, they were supposed to be on there, and they were around somebody who got Corona. I don't know if that's the same thing for Nikki Cross though. Okay, so why couldn't they just do Sasha come out with it? Why could I don't know? Why couldn't they just have Sasha come out with the chair? While she was cutting the promo, why do they need Oscar to come back? Is is it would I would it be right if I said it was too predictable to have Sasha come out while she was talking instead of after the match? I guess, I guess. And why did why did Oscar come out with her entrance gear on again, even though she already competed? I couldn't. She, she just came out I all do. kinds of pissed off from the from the first from the first match. I mean, it's not. <clears throat> it's not like it's not like because Lena Vega attacked her after the match because man she gave a little one love she gave her a little love tap and, uh, and Oscar took it because why not anyway Oscar should have came out and just all kinds of pissed off but I think but Sasha should have got that one chair shot in and then either left or had the rep because she's still hurt. Or had the ref- or had referees come out and like say, "Hey, you gotta get back." Maybe have Adam Pierce come out. Hey, look, you're hurt. You gotta get out of here. Something like that. Because if you got a neck brace on, understand like hitting it from the back. Mark, if that's not a clip, I don't know what is. <laughs> I, the funniest part is you caught yourself before I did. You caught it before I, I caught did. it as soon as I said it. I was like, you, yeah. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that probably was the stream right there. <laughs> that probably made the stream right there. So, anyway. anyway I hear saying Sasha blowing Bailey's back out, but <laughs> <laughs> you ain't turn on my Wednesday wipers, bro. Like what the freak? <laughs> Please come up with something different. <laughs> I did not expect that to pop you. <laughs> I did not expect that second one to pop you the way it did. <laughs> Wait, you did it on purpose? I did that on purpose. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Well, I didn't think you did it on purpose. That's why I laughed so hard. <laughs> Great. Oh. Okay. Okay. But I got to understand Sasha throwing Bailey's hip out of alignment. And... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still thinking about that. I'm sorry. I'm still thinking about the other two. <laughs> All right. Mostly because I thought you were going to do it again. All right, real talk, real talk, real talk, real talk. So, <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I big fella. Bruh, when I laughed, it's hard to push my throat hurt. <laughs> anyway. Whew. Okay. All right. We're back. Back from the TV timeout. <laughs> okay. Um. But, no, I, it made sense for Sasha to like, hit her from behind. 
<laughs> you did that on purpose, bro. That was actually that. She hit her with a chair from behind. <laughs> you are an eight-year-old kid. Nigga, stop trying to do it like uh, that, man. That was actually an accident. That's not that. my fault. You keep saying them. All right. Sasha Jeez. used a foreign object in the backside of it. Damn it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. We're not going to get through this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't get through it, bro. Oh. <laughs> the first one did me. But he did the second one on purpose, and I didn't know you did. So it caught me again. The third <laughs> one was... The third one was a complete accident. And it still made me laugh. And this one just... I just kind of stopped laughing, bro. <laughs> I can't help it. Well, I'm gonna come back here, man. Let me get, let me gather myself. Hold on, we are falling apart on stream. <laughs> Shut up! They, I say, had it. Please yeah. say something different. All right. Please say something different. Sasha attacked Bailey from behind. Okay, Sasha attacked Bailey with a chair. Hope, All right. I hope this is mine. Anyway, Sasha should have just looked at her and left, or had referees get her out of there. Cause that, that makes a little bit more, a little bit of sense. Like, I mean, like, remember when Seth Rollins got attacked by Brock, and literally walked towards Brock Lesnar with a microphone, with, with a neck brace on, using a chair as a walker, pretty much, and had his music playing and everything, and he walked directly towards the dude, and expected not to get his ass kicked. Yeah. Remember how stupid that was? This was this, but done a lot better. <laughs> But, I mean, well, like I said, it would have been perfect if you just hit, hit her with a chair and left. But it's WWE. Anyway, moving WWE. on. We got to get away from this. Oh, Frank. Good Lord. That's your fault. That bro. was not my fault. That was your fault. That was very much your fault. Drew McIntyre and Randy Orton in the ambulance match. I love the storytelling in the match. In this, in the match. Yeah? yeah. I love the storytelling. Oh. About how about all how all of Randy's past came back to just bite him in the face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um and and how Drew used a punt kick to finish it out. As 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 I know you I know you lost all credibility for the punt kick, but I just thought I, I liked it. That's not what I was gonna say. Oh. I knew we were gonna get to that spot eventually. But I didn't want it to be Drew to do it. I wanted it to be Edge to do it. You the really puck kick Randy. You really thought Edge would? Not tonight. Oh, you mean like whenever they... Down the road. Well, you know it'll happen then. But I don't want to see it now because I've already seen Drew do it. Oh, my gosh. Because remember, Edge is... Randy said that Edge is the one that woke up the Legend Killer. And that was really the first person to get punted this summer by Randy at Backlash. So it would be great storytelling if at WrestleMania he killed the Legend Killer with his own move, the punk kick. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. No? No, no, no. No, you that, that was fine. I was no. thinking about something else. But this match. Randy had all of his sins come back to bite him. Um, what did Randy falter? Off the ambulance? I couldn't tell you. What? what I, 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 that was a... Uh, it was a pad. A pad? Pad with some wood on top of it. With a thin layer of wood on top of it. Okay. Um. <laughs> I couldn't tell you, bro. Now, it, it looked like the same exact thing that... Uh, you remember the Bob Lash and Strowman? Yeah. Classic? It yeah. looked like that. That's what it looked like to me. But... I still don't... I don't know how you got to the floor, though. Unless he yeah. fell through it. I don't know. And rolled out from under it. I don't know. Um, we're really keeping this title on Drew. I guess so. Okay, I'm cool with it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, though. I mean, he is God. I mean, we've talked about it on stream. He should never lose this title. And I'm cool with it. I'm not going to lie, though. I do kind of miss when people used to go back and forth with the titles. Why? I don't know. It was. I mean, come on. It used to be, it used to be more fun to me back then. When the tiles would flip flop, not not like a lot, a lot, but like you know, it wouldn't it wouldn't go every six months with somebody. 
with somebody winning. No, I hate when people flip-flop titles. Because the longer a person's a champion, the more credible that, that, that champion is. So when he, when that dude finally gets beat, it's a big deal. Make sense? I was thinking more along the lines of what Sasha and Charlotte did when they first... Oh, God, no. No, no, no. I like that. Oh, my God in heaven. That was stupid. On a biblical level. Okay. <laughs> what? Just stupid on every level. We're not even gonna burn, uh, ew. Ew! Why would you, ew! Ew! I God. like that! Shut up. My energy was bringing up a little bit, because of that laugh we had, and then you just brought that up. No, I'm fuck, damn it. You okay, mean, this you, match was another opportunity to make Retribution cool, and they didn't do it. They didn't. Vince, oh, Vince, bro. I was surprised that we got a little bit of blood in this match. On Drew's back. Really? Yeah. You were surprised about that? It's WWE. This ain't AEW. We don't do blood here. Nigga, he 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 he, he body slammed him on the on the car. I get that, but I'm surprised if we did that spot here. I'm... And did something as dangerous as that to get blood. I ain't crazy. Uh, I'm I'm not mad at. It. I'm just saying I'm surprised they did it. Why did he pin him? I don't think he actually pinned him. I think he was just landed in that spot. So he landed in the spot with his leg up? He pulled his leg up. Did he pull his leg up? He actually pulled oh, his leg up. I missed that spot. <laughs> yeah. He actually pulled the man's leg up, which is why I was like, huh? Yeah. Randy, <laughs> Ra Randy's having the kind of day we we're having right now. He's out of it. He's just, he's just chilling. He was out the paint. He was out the paint. Anyway. Anyway. Um... Yeah. So now, but what? Real quick, real before, quick. Before I talk about the rent, before I talk about that, I don't know how you would feel about this. Mm -hmm. But what if they do some retribution at Survivor Series, like five people versus the five retribution members? Wait, they can't do that. Frick! Okay, I that? just killed. I just killed that whole story. Why can't they do that? Because they're women. Intergender. Oh. oh, well, I mean. But do you think that could be a thing? Do you think that could be the thing? Well, we don't, if Retribution ever gets in their contract, they actually want to work pay-per-views, then sure. But right now, they only want to work Mondays. They don't want to work Wednesdays. They don't want to work Fridays. They, they don't want to work Sundays. They work in one day a week. They get, right. they get they get they get their cheddar, get their chicken. They get that payday. Getting that payday. The Roman talks. They get the Roman pay. They get the Roman bag. And then and then they leave. All right. Well, we'll see you next week. All right. Now back to the Drew Randy thing. Where do they go with this now? I don't know. I got something on this gum. The amount of gum I have chewed during this stream in forty eight minutes, like it's I. I, and like, I'm still on the same. I'm still on the same piece, by the way. Are you serious? Yeah. I really gotta get snacks in here. Like, I, I gotta start bringing peanuts again. Like, I, I, just, I just start. I'll, never, I'll, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, <laughs> I'm really never mind. Um, where do they go from here? Well, we got Hell in the Cell coming up October Obviously. 25th. So are we? Get, do, what? A look, third? I, Randy Drew? Look, here's the thing. I, the Hell in the Cell. It. You can't put two new guys in Hell in the Cell. You can't put, you can't start a feud. You can't make somebody's first match in a storyline, Hell in the Cell. But you can end end it inside Hell in the Cell. Okay. So I think now they WWE has done that stupid mistake before. Remember Randy Orton and Sheamus back in two thousand nine, I think. Were you watching wrestling at that nope. time? Yeah, Randy Orton had just won the WWE title in a six pack challenge at Night of Champions, and he had never been in the ring with Sheamus before. But it was announced that Sheamus would get his rematch against Randy Orton inside Hell in a Cell. These two have not said two words to each other. They've never been in the ring together. But their first match in this feud is going to be inside Hell in a Cell. But wasn't that like Sheamus' first year in WWE? Yeah. But Sheamus should not have been inside Hell in a Cell. No. 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 Well, we don't know what they're going to do. Like I said, I've always believed Hell and Soja in the feud that damn sure should not start a feud. And it shouldn't be in the middle. So I think Randy Orton, I think the, I think the storyline goes like this. Randy Orton argues that Drew had all his friends help him retain the title. And 
one on one. He can't beat him, even though he has. And we get we get Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre inside Hell in the Cell to keep all Drew's friends out of the out of, out of the match. Who are Drew's friends? Big Show, Christian, Shawn Michaels, oh. all the people that attacked okay. Randy last night. Could have just said Randy's enemies. But okay. I'm sorry. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm, I was, kinda... I was saying what what Randy would say. Right. All of Drew's friends. Okay. Now. Oh frick. Oh, oh, oh no 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 no. Are, are we are we good? Frick. I don't know. Are, are we good? I don't know. If we get cut off before this Roman Reigns match. We're ending this podcast. We're never doing this again. We good? I don't know. We'll find out. <coughs> All right. I'm fine. We're good. No COVID. We're good. No COVID. So we got the main <laughs> event. Cool playing. Roman Reigns and Jey Uso. Roman Reigns. Oh, my Lord. This was some of the best storytelling. I have seen out of WWE on the main roster in a decade. Oh my god. This Roman this is the Roman Reigns we have all wanted this entire time. And it took a global pandemic for us to get it. <laughs> but we got it. This everything about even the hype video for this match gave me chills. Jay Uso on the Friday before this pay-per-view talked me into this match. Roman Reigns talked me into this match. And Roman... Look. Pause in advance. Roman Reigns came out with no shirt on and looked like an absolute star. Bro. Pa- pause. 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 Bro, this dude... Bro, uh, what, what kind of protein this man take, bro? What, 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 what protein this man? I don't know. Like, bro. You better... By the way, real quick, has Dr... Is it just me? Has Drew McIntyre always been that big? Boss? <laughs> Has he always been that brawler? I went back and watched the clip of him Claymore and Randy three times. And saw what this dude's arms looked like. No. Has he always been this brawler? No. Did I miss something? Is he on the Jinder Mahal diet? Did he get on the Jinder Mahal just times two? Maybe. Bruh. Because I, I remember seeing a video from him in 20... 20- 13. Yeah. When he was coming out with 3MB, I was actually watching the um, the Wii LC match. Oh, you <laughs> would watch that match. You no, would I, watch that no, match. No, no. I didn't watch the whole match. I was just like, what? Oh, I forgot about this match. But so I looked at it. I looked at it. And I saw Drew come out. Drew did not look that big at all. Yeah. He not even close. I don't think they're doing well in the in this company anymore. <laughs> Bruh, everybody jack, bro. Well, I mean, like, everybody brawling. I, I just think that they're getting bigger. Everybody be clanging and banging, like everybody. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. If anyway, you like, if you want to look like the Rock, you gotta clang and bang. You do. Anyway, Roman Gaines. Roman Gaines comes out to the ring and just beats the shit out of this dude the entire match. And talking to him, he's telling commentary, "Hey, I love this dude. I don't want to do this." But then we got to look, and just he's the entire time he's telling him to stay down, and he is just beating his ass. Jay got a couple hope spots. Jay threw a chop, and I love that. Jay threw a chop. I was like, "This motherfucker!" Right there, like, bro. It's like, nigga, we don't chop. We don't chop in this family. We ain't no choppers, bro. Anyway, we got to the final, the final. What was it? Ten minutes of this match. Yeah. yeah. Final t- that gave me like that. Oh, that was. I don't want to say it gave me chills, but that gave me like that. That made me like. I was glued to the TV. Like I, I was yeah, glued. I, to the I didn't TV. look away. Like from the time Roman Reigns put Jay's face in the camera and said, "Here, look, this is my camera." <laughs> oh, this dude, Roman Reigns. Yeah. I have not seen a character like this that I can get involved. I can get invested in since I was a kid. I have not seen a character that I can get this invested in since I would say Batista. Like that, this dude just. Oh my god! They're getting it right with Roman. Right? They are getting it right with him now. Finally, 
if you if you're still hating on Roman, you're just looking for reason to hate. Like, yeah. you, you just you're you're just a. You have no excuse anymore. There's just no excuse anymore. You're just a glorified hater. You really are. Oh, when Jimmy came out with the towel, and he's begging Roman to stop, and he's watching him beat the shit out of his brother. I completely forgot that Jimmy was hurt. So when he limped out, I was like, "What the frick is he limping for?" Oh, uh, <laughs> he got tired, but retribution got him. <laughs> um, but yeah. He's like, bro, I'm throwing in, I'm throwing in the towel. I'm throwing it in. So like, no, I don't throw it in. I was like, nigga, are you dying? He might have been. He's in there with Roman Reigns, bro. Yeah. It was tough. It was tough to see. And said, I was just like, wow. He gets the drop. Roman G. Reigns is exactly what I wanted him to do. Beat the absolute shit out of Jey Uso. <laughs> he is the tribal chief, ladies and gentlemen. And if you don't like it, well... I got two words for you. If Jay was... Can you imagine if Jay was bleeding in this match? Can you imagine if Jay had just like some, some trickle down the head? The imagery that would... Like how... Like the imagery that would have put up? If Jay is like on his last limb. Sorry. Jay just out here bleeding and shit. It's ugly. Roman Reigns would probably... He might be the biggest heel on television at that point. <laughs> Like he might reach Negan levels from Walking Dead. Like, that level of heat. <laughs> Dang. Bro. All right. That is about it. Wait, 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 where are we going from here? I don't know. That was the question I was going to ask you. Outside. I've thought about this. I don't know. Because. That's the only thing. That's the only thing Jimmy's I don't hurt. know about it. Jimmy's hurt. Yeah, Jimmy's hurt. I don't see Jay getting another title opportunity. Mm-mm. So Jay, I don't. So I don't, that know, just I don't a trans- know what Roman does. Hell in the cell. So is that just a transit? See, that's not good because now you now you're talking awesome. I like to end things at Hell in the Cell instead of finish instead well, of start. We things. don't have to put Roman inside Hell in the Cell. Why not? Well, I mean, I'll, I'll, there is one exception. There is one exception. If Brock comes back or something. Well, there was one match that started inside Hell in the Cell. Start the feud started inside Hell in the Cell, and that was cool. What? The Fiend and Seth Rollins. You weren't cool with it. Don't lie. You I, were not cool I with it. I was that. cool with the match starting inside Hell in the Cell. I was cool with that feud start. Was I? No. <laughs> <laughs> you hated that because of how it ended. No, I hated the match because I, I, was ha- I wasn't. I hated the match itself. But on the build up to the match, I wasn't mad that this match was going to start inside Hell in the Cell. That this feud was going to start inside Hell in the Cell. Yeah, but ain't nobody the Fiend. Well, well, literally what I just said, Mark. You didn't say that, Mark. But okay. Um. Um. Uh. So you're saying we're getting the Fiend versus Roman? If they want to put Roman inside Hell in a Cell, that's that's the only person he could go in there with that would be okay. Not even Brock. Brock ain't showing up. I mean, yeah, but Brock I mean, I'm just saying. If Brock showed up, then yeah, but he's not showing up. I meant logically. Okay, logically, fine. The Fiend. Yeah. Makes sense because they already te- they already teased it once. Yeah. With Alexa Bliss staring yeah. at what's his name? Roman. 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 The guy we're talking about. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right, that's it, bro. I'm tired. I want to go home. Yeah. I'm gonna do this next couple hours of work. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I feel the same way. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been- that has been P- the P and King. Fuck me up. That's been the Pink King podcast for this week. It's been a rough one, but we're able to get through it. Why couldn't it, look? Why couldn't your phone bury this stream and not last week's stream? <laughs> why? I don't know. Why is it? Why, why at least we, we got. At least we got a good laugh out of this stream. I'll, get, I'll give you that. We did. I'll give us that. We did. We got a good laugh out of the stream. But uh, we'll see you guys Friday. We'll be more energized then. Will we? I think so. We we definitely will. Tune in next week. For, for a more energized version, for more for more predictions, we got a lot of them. Good we, God at this point, I told you we're doing them every week. We're gonna do two. We're probably gonna be doing two a week almost, pretty much, because we're gonna be doing NFL. At least after this Friday, we don't have to like do any more wrestling predictions until the twenty fifth. Yeah, yeah. Or until the twenty third. Yeah, Friday. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, that's been it for us. And we'll see you guys on Friday. Peace.
Uh, 